In microeconomics, we study how resource allocation occurs in a single market. Keep in mind that when we say single market, we're talking about the market for one good or service. So maybe for guns or for eggs or automobiles or doctors or whatever it might be. As we, pro as we progress through microeconomics, we'll study four subsections, and if you're HL, you'll look at a fifth. So the four subsections are these, and then just kind of my interpretation of what each one is. So first off, we look at the basic of markets, how markets work, and how interaction inside of the market works to set a price. And that's what we call the price mechanism. And my explanation that the price mechanism solves all problems, that comes with a major asterisk, but we do start with this fundamental understanding that if left to its own devices, the market will figure out the best way to allocate resources. From there, we go into a study of what's called elasticities, and that's looking at how different markets are different from each other for whatever reasons. Um, third, we look at government intervention. Here we introduce the idea that the government is going to involve itself in the market and sometimes keep the price mechanism from setting um, how resources are allocated. Now, I like to say that this is the story of how government messes things up, but that's a fair thing to say because, well, the fourth thing we look at is market failure, and the market messes things up too. So really, in these two, and it can, even continuing into the fifth, we're challenging this idea that the price mechanism is going to uh, allocate resources in an efficient way. So we might seem a little bit naive at first, but we'll look a little bit uh, more critically at some of these issues as our study of microeconomics uh, continues. The last thing we look at, if you're HL, is what's called theory of the firm. And this is saying, well, it is looking at how different firms are structured and how they work and how they make their decisions, and essentially getting to this idea that competition doesn't exist nearly enough, and that's one of the reasons for the problems we see in microeconomics.